Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to do a quick little tip for you guys when it comes to doing uh, chassis work. As you can see here we're working on a 1966 chassis for this sunroof that's hanging up over there by the lift. And uh, so we had to put new floor pans in and you know anything with aftermarket today it's tough fitment um, but we got these pans from CIP1.com they fit really nice some modifications you have to do uh, with the jack point area sometimes they, they put like an extra brace there and it kind of interferes with certain things um, you know if you don't need certain parts of the pan um, you know the pan comes all complete with this brace back here we didn't need this uh, pan this was all good on the original pan so a couple things you have to modify to make this fit right but for the most part the pans fit very very nicely but before you start tacking them down real strong and sealing them up it's always a good idea to then do like a trial fit back to the shell if you have the capability to do so wherever you're working sometimes you can't you limit it on space or something but what we did yesterday is we we tacked these pans into place lined them up made our measurements and then we rolled the chassis back under the car and then started to raise uh, the chassis up to the shell again because we want to make sure that these holes, the bolt holes, line up with the original heater channels that are on the shell, okay, on the, on the bug body. Because uh, a lot of times these pans, once you marry it all down and you did all your work and you welded and you seam sealed everything, these holes just don't line up. And many times people are forced to elongate these holes make them bigger, okay, make them more like, say, egg shape, so you can fit your bolt. And, uh, I don't know, we don't want to do that. We want to keep this nice and neat and clean and keep it professional looking, right? So, uh, one tip I would say is tack these into place in a couple spots, not everywhere. Okay, so we see, we held it down here. And then we move it along, see it's not tacked here yet. Okay, just a couple spots. So then when it comes time to if we had to make any adjustments, we can quickly drill out those welds and uh, make our adjustments on the pan if you have to trim here or trim there. Uh, but it's the world of aftermarket, right? I mean, they just, things do not fit perfectly. Now, you could be, open up a whole other can of worms, say you're doing new heater channels, okay, on your shell, and then you're doing new floor pans. You know, I would definitely recommend wanting to test fit the chassis to the shell prior to finalizing everything just because it's all out of whack sometimes when when I did my convertible and I did the bottoms of the new heater channels and new support rails sure enough when we did the floor pans things did just not line up right so we had to make modifications so just a quick tip I wanted to point out to you we did it yesterday we're detailing this chassis and getting it ready to go on that shell so prior to um, you know, like I said, finalizing everything with your welds and sealing things up. Do a trial fit, do a test fit, and make sure your holes, let's see if I can get over here real quick and show you what I'm talking about. So underneath the heat channel here, here are your holes, if you can see this. This is what the floor pan is good at. The bolt goes through the floor pan and then hits these bolts, these bolt holes right here. So you gotta make sure the holes are gonna line up and it goes all the way back the bottom of the channel and then all the way up to the front here. So do a test fit, see how you do. If you need to make adjustments, make the necessary adjustments and then uh, it'll marry together very nicely for you. So hope that was a decent tip there for you and something to point out. We go through this kind of stuff all the time when we're doing chassis work like this. So you guys got any questions, uh, email me chris at classicvwbugs.com or visit the website www.classicvwbugs.com Take care.